Omar, for some time I was in, well, welcome. I'm, I'm involved in a kind of improving package management infrastructure and uh, this kind of talk is about our future work. So like Stefan yesterday talked about that the new package manager is going to be on the version one of Julia. So this kind of small, short uh, look at this, like this, some of the improvements that we plan to integrate in this new version uh, of the package manager. So I'm going to talk about the pro, uh, Julia environments. So basically it's an attempt to uh, improve the way how the people uh, program in Julia. So uh, we usually kind of what's the Julia environment? So we usually start kind of like as programmers, like the, the writing scripts, and then we develop in some kind of the modules. And after all, we kind of add dependencies to the program. And all these kind of have to be managed in some way. So there is no kind of right now project infrastructure developed at this point for the Julia. What we have is uh, just a um, uh, small kind of like the, the way to represent our programs are the packages, right? Because the packages have this ability to add some um, uh, dependency requirements and that will automatically install them whenever you install the package. So what we try to do is to solve this problem on the level that, well, like I, I'm thinking that the package is not the project. So we have to abandon this kind of practice and start kind of looking at the completely different schema. So like the project should be directory that contains all your code. And then you tr start managing these, uh, uh, these projects in a way that, well, you have this kind of environment that could be kind of either local or global, global in the way that right now it's exists in the Julia, local that any directory could become your environment, working environment. It should be completely reproducible. So you could just copy this project to different machine, different location, and start con like and continue working on this project. Has dependencies and the management of these dependencies. So yeah, as I said, the environment type we would differentiate on the global and local scope. Uh, glo well, like, you could think of global environment as the way uh, uh, right now, Julia handles like this uh, global user-based develop like the dependency cache. So what we add, we're gonna add more environments. So you will have multiple environments that would be named or support different Julia versions, uh, and or support multiple registries, well, like the registries, the metadata. So uh, as well, we would differentiate between the native and the binary environments where like native is just the Julia code and uh, binary is whatever is installed, like the binary dependencies, we shouldn't mix it together. Right now, it's like the every package would just download and install into it like the, any binary dependency. We would like to separate it to ensure some kind of reusability of installed uh, binary uh, de um, dependencies. In a reusability approach, we'll look at the way to make a snapshot of, um, of the whole project. And the snapshot is done in a way that will create some kind of log file that would record state of the dependency cache. So the subset, like this is kind of like the subset of a global uh, uh, cache that exists, like whatever the packages you install. But in your project, what you use, you start, uh, uh, um, you only kind of create the small subset of this, like the whole scope of the installed packages. So, and you'll be able to manage this uh, uh, in kind of like uh, log file, but b uh, whatever is kind of the running in the program. So like what's you include in your program, that is gonna be captured. And the way we do it, we either through the testing or the through runtime, we're gonna capture this information about whatever the modules or the packages are involved in your program and log them in a particular state. So log file is basically a tunnel based format file, which would include some dependencies, dependency description. So it's kind of the source, version, commit, branch, all these kind of information. So there is some small snippet of uh, how it would look. And uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, Usually we start working in the global environment, creating some 
uh, packages, and well, like the, the, some code, and then if you want to kind of lock it in the case, like the lock this particular state, you just create the lock file, and you kind of shift your uh, from the global to the local scope. From that, you would be able to start like local dependency management, local kind of like the reference different packages in the various forms. So we'll try to support Git uh, links or like the path. So like it would give you a much more flexibility in terms like on a local scope, how you would manage your code. So I guess I don't have much time to show the version, but well, like the demo, but yeah, if you come to me during the time, like the, during the break, I'll talk about it more with you. Okay, that's it.